So you you, just, you left off with father uh, went into the now you you were talking about uh, Top Gun and how that motivated you. Um, so right, you didn't right. mention the the Air Force Academy, but you were leading up to that. Yeah, so um, I was interested in going into the Navy. Okay. So I applied to the Naval Academy and I got turned down. Okay. And uh, I applied to the Air Force Academy and they kind of laughed at my grades, but the <laughs> the swim coach, <laughs> yeah, I, I was not the best. I was not the best student. I wasn't a uh, bad was? student in high school, but yeah. I wasn't a, a, a top tier stellar yeah. Uh, yeah. student athlete. I was an athlete. Well, the, the best of us student. weren't. The best of us weren't. There's lots yeah. of statistics that show that the grade A students are not the not the overflyers usually. But although you know, it's give give them credit where credit is due. So yeah, you got so, into the Air Force Academy. So uh, the the coach uh, helped me get in. Mm -hmm. So you know, he's like, "Well, the your ACT and your SATs aren't good enough, but if we take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and we work some magic, maybe we can yeah. get you in." Okay. So uh, ended up getting in. Um, did all four years, um, graduated from there. But my junior year, um, so this was in uh, 91, early 91. So Bush 41. Yeah. So Bush actually when the, when, when they, the when the military was kind of tapering down, because I was in, I, I remember when I was in RTC, it was 84, 86. And when I came back in 80, I took a break from college for two years. When I came back there, everybody okay. was kind of downsizing and it was kind of difficult to get a commission. Yeah, and we were feeling a little bit of that still in in uh, the late '80s, early '90s, because yeah. they came out to us and and they told the cadet wing, they said, if you're not in the top third of your graduating class, you're not going to go to UPT undergraduate okay. yeah. pilot training. We'll have you go do something else, maintenance yeah. officer, missile yeah. officer, you know, whatever other jobs. Yeah. Well, I, and, and Mark, I was not, I was <laughs> definitely not in the top third of my class. Yeah, As a matter I, I, fact, I, I, also I don't. don't I, don't, I also uh, don't see you doing a classical maintenance job. No, no, no discredit. All those 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 branches that are for support. God bless you. We wouldn't be able to. But I don't see you being the type that would want to do necessarily quartermaster or any of that other kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nothing against that. It's just not what I wanted to do. I came in the Air Force to fly, yeah. and I was being told that uh, you're you're going to be banked for at least a year yeah. uh, if, if that's what you want to do, and we're yeah. going to go put you in other jobs. So I called my uh, I called my dad, and uh, and I called Mike uh, my my mentor growing up is a guy named Mike Troy. Um, I'm actually looking at a picture of him right now on the cover of Sports Illustrated in uh, 1960. He was um, double gold medalist in wow. the Rome Summer okay. Olympics in the 200 meter fly oh, cool. and in one of the relays, a uh, world record holder. And he was my swim coach growing mm -hmm. up. And he had spent time in the SEAL teams during Vietnam. Okay. Um, oh, I, wow. I believe that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a real, that's a whole different era. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He, yeah. He was one of the most motivating gentlemen I've ever met yeah. in, in my life. You know, yeah. he would sit us down before a hard Saturday morning workout. You know, one of but the but this guy was a, was a Navy SEAL even stories. before uh, 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 Marchenko, Dick Marchenko, came around, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it, he's it, these are oh, these are OGs. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. If you think about it, he, he, the Olympics were in 1960, and it was yeah. after that that he went yeah. into the Navy. Wow. So at the very beginning of Vietnam, he was yeah. he was in the mix and did yeah. uh, three three tours over there. Yeah. Um. So incredible man. He's uh. He, unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Yeah. But uh, I remember calling Mike uh, from our squadron. Uh, we had one one phone, one CQ phone in the uh, squadron bay there. And I called him up and I was like, hey, Mike, it doesn't look like I'm going to get the fly. What do you think I should do? And he said, quit the freaking Air Force, join the Navy and go in the SEAL team. It's I am dying like... to hear how you made that happen. <laughs> well, I, I, I said, Mike, I'm, I'm, I'm at the Air Force Academy. I'm not the Navy. I'm at, I, in case you forgot, I'm at the Air Force Academy. And uh, Mike was just like, ah, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. I've heard of people doing it in the past. And so I started looking into it and he was right. We had a, a liaison officer at the Air Force Academy who taught some uh, joint combined warfare yeah. type classes, professional military studies. Yeah. 
Um, but he also was responsible for inner service transfers. And cool. every year there was always one or two that that would do it. And I, I had no idea. I didn't know that. It was kind of kept under wraps. So uh, yeah, that's what I did. I, uh, I put all the paperwork out. 